hey, students, you love business studies, but there's a problem, exams. Not because you don't know your stuff, but because you're unsure what to write. But here's the thing, they don't have to be that hard. I want to show you the descriptors. These are the words that tell you what to write in an exam and explain them in plain English. Here are the TKI achievement grades. They tell you what's needed for achieved, merit and excellence. These are the level three ones and they're exactly the same at level two for achieved and merit. They're really similar for excellence. And achieved will use the explain descriptor. This involves doing two things. Firstly, you need to state an answer. For example, a quality control strategy will reduce customer complaints at XYZ Limited. Then you need to give reasons why that answers the question, really showing the process to getting there. For example, this is because a quality control strategy involves inspecting products at the end of the production process and rejecting those that don't meet the quality standards. This means less faulty products end up with customers and fewer of them are unhappy, therefore less complaints. For merit, we use the descriptor fully explain and it's a bit more difficult than achieve because you could do all the stuff for an achieved and a little bit more. It depends on the question what you're going to be doing, but in general you're going to be giving consequences for the business and or for relevant stakeholders. For the business this means you might be giving consequences on profitability, innovation, sustainability, or the business's ability to attract and retain good stuff. Just remember to say how you got there. So for XYZ, I might say, for example, less customer complaints is going to give XYZ an enhanced reputation compared to its competition. This means customers will choose them over anyone else. This is going to increase their sales and therefore their profitability. Your other option is to give advantages and disadvantages and then sum up with a general statement that tells the marker whether overall it's going to help the business reach a desired consequence or it's going to harm them. Whatever you choose, just make sure that you give examples from the question or case where possible to show your point. Excellence uses a mix of the fully explain and justify or justified conclusion descriptors. Again, you take what you did in a merit answer and you add a bit more onto it. You've also got two options here as well. The first is compare and contrast to an alternative course of action. What that means is you've already given a solution or some sort of action that the business has to take. Now you fully explain another one and you say why the first solution you gave is better than that one. You might do this, for example, by saying what your first solution does that the second one doesn't do and why that's better for this particular business. Your other option is to use what they call new information. And one way of going about this is to give some short term costs of the solution or action and then give some long term benefits. Now, those long term benefits are the new information. You've got to make sure that you haven't already given that somewhere else in your answer. Then what you do is say why these long term benefits outweigh the short term costs. Whatever you choose, make sure that your answer is relevant to the particular business in the case or question that you've been given. That's how you get the high marks. Tailor your answer to that particular business. And that's it really. Make sure you have a look at that link I gave you before. It's in the description. I think it's really useful, especially to uh, look at what you need and uh, the examples once you kind of get what you're meant to be doing. As always, good luck.